Howdy strangers and welcome back to the Night in the Show with Taco. Even if it's not nighttime, you're still here. Now it's been a good while since we've done a podcast episode and I want to apologize for that kind of delay there. I don't know. I, just, I don't even know why I stopped it. I guess I just kind of ran out of ideas and just kind of wanted to think a little bit and maybe get a little bit of script, get her some footage, you know, just kind of take a break for a little bit and, um, we're not going to do this weekly anymore, which I don't know how many people that's going to make sad about, but anyways, run that maybe a monthly or just kind of whenever I can do it. Anyways, today we are talking about long barrels and short barrels. Now, long barrels and short barrels are very, very important at Mirify because it's just like a free attachment you can put on. Well, I mean, obviously you spend the cash for it, but long barrels are just a direct upgrade and short barrels are just a direct downgrade. So why would you use short barrel? Why would you not use long barrel? I mean, long barrel just straight up gives you better damage, better velocity, better range. Um, I don't think there's anything with ergonomics and recoil. Maybe it makes the ergonomics just a tad bit worse. I, I don't really remember. Short barrels, you know, like maybe makes uh, ergonomics a little bit better, but lowers damage, <laughs> lowers velocity, and lowers range. So there's literally no reason to use it. Long barrel on some guns actually makes guns just completely better. Browning high power, just to name a couple of few, just to name a few, I mean. Um, Browning high power with extend barrel, you get one shot headshot and almost a two tap to body and limbs. And with the ump, you go from a four shot to a three shot minimum. That is that is honestly insane, and there's basically no downside to doing it. Long barrels are just a complete upgrade in PvE and PvP. So that just shows how good they are. And short barrels, they just make your gun worse. And they often make you lose hits to kill. So like M4A1, MK18, um, that HK416 even. If you slap on a short barrel, you go from a three-shot minimum to a four-shot minimum. Now, the faster firing guns like AS Vol and actually AS Vol is an exception to it. When you slap on a short barrel, you actually don't lose hits to kill. It actually has like a 45 damage minimum. So you go from a three shot to a three shot with short barrel. So there are some exceptions with these barrel attachments, but often often or not, short barrel just sucks. Long barrel is exceptionally good. So um basically short barrel on C seven A two, MK eighteen, M four A one, and HK four sixteen they go from a three shot minimum to a four shot minimum. Now the HK416 doesn't really suffer from it too much due to the fact that its fire rate kind of makes up for it, but still you get the point. It's really, really bad. <laughs> it's just stupid bad and it makes the short barrel completely obsolete and there's really no reason to buy it while long barrel is just, it's basically a necess necessity because it's just a direct buff to the gun you already have. In my opinion, I think there might be a solution to this and I kind of think it's obvious in my opinion but maybe it's maybe i'm wrong about this but i think short barrels should increase damage yet lower range and velocity drastically and also re increase recoil a bit and make ergonomics slightly better the reason it makes ergonomics better is because there's less gun so it's not as heavy so weight is you know it's lower weight is lower short barrels increase damage and that just that just gives you a reason to use short barrels, you know, because short barrels with all these downsides, there's no reason to use it. So short barrels should increase damage like long barrels do now, and they lower range and velocity. So basically, you know, bullets fire slower. You know, they're just they're just not as good because there's less a barrel to push it. You know, there's less gas to go behind the bullets and make them faster. I guess I don't really know how gun will work, but I assume that's how it works. <laughs> and of course, since there's less barrel, you know, the recoil is going to be worse to it. Maybe. I don't know. I just think that's a good solution because, you know, short barrels, more damage, but less accurate. And long barrels should be the exact opposite. Long barrels will lower damage, but increase range and velocity drastically. And yes, range and velocity are not very important. However, it's a small little detail that can, you know, kind of balance a gun or balance the attachment a little bit more. And it will also lower recoil a little bit and make ergonomics slightly worse. It'll add weight, but obviously, you know, you've got less recoil. So it's like, hey, you can either choose damage or accuracy with short barrels and long barrels, you know, dam with damage being short barrels, but, you know, more recoil or long barrels with less damage, but more accuracy. Now, I don't really think this might be a perfect solution to the problem, but I definitely think it would make short barrels more viable. And in you know, when this, if this buff does come out and they do actually take my advice, it may make long barrels also obsolete because nine times out of 10, somebody's going to pick short barrel out of long barrel when this update rolls out. Because I mean, think about it, more damage is just better, you know? And like on some guns, like maybe the HK416, for example, you know, if you run long barrel on it, you're basically going to need, like HK416 has such bad recoil that you basically need, you know, any 
recoil reducing attachments you can have. So Lombard actually might be fairly good on it, you know? I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. It also, I don't think that range of velocity is very important, at least especially in PvP. So I don't think that little thing is going to bother too much, but I definitely do think that it will make short bills more viable and long bills won't be just like necessity, you know, so you can kind of pick and choose, but I do feel like whichever attachment will give you just basically more damage, 9 times out of 10, people are just going to pick that because, you know, more hits to kill is just better. And I think that way, you know, long bells just aren't just an immediate upgrade while the short bells are just like, why would you even use this besides a mean? Anyways... I know this is a little bit more of a shorter episode, I think, but um, leave suggestions on what to do with short barrels and long barrels in the comments. I'm really interested to see what people will come up with for solutions. Um, yeah, that's all I really have to say today. I know it's probably a little bit, sh yeah, it's a lot shorter than normal, but um, I just I just thought I might as well squeeze out, trying to squeeze out a podcast episode because I've really been wanting to do this and it's been like a month since I've last done it. Anyways, I'm going to stop wasting your time. There's a link to my Discord in the description. And also, the Beer and Five Gang. Beer and Five Gang is where a bunch of YouTubers in their communities kind of meet up and hang out. We've done a couple of events before, and we're going to try to start it back up again. Hopefully soon, but no promises on that one. And yeah, I'd love to see you all there. So I hope you all have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.